What's up? What's going on guys? It's Yvonne. Um, so in our previous video, we've gone deeper into the autoresponder after we've set it up, okay? And we've looked at some of the features. Um, but one of the things we did find out is that if we want to attach a large file, anything over 400 kilobytes, so a video, an audio, a document, a PDF, uh, anything over 400 kilobytes, you cannot add by the attach button. So we need to find a way to be able to upload that PDF onto your email so people can open it, right? So just to give you an idea of what 400 kilobytes looks like, I've created this little page here based on a Microsoft template. So I just use that. And then I've inserted a picture and some placeholder text, okay? So your size of your uh, PDF will really be determined by the size of your pictures, uh, but that is still important. So roughly this size, will be 400 kilobytes, okay? So so both of these, both of these pictures. Um, so this is actually, I've, I've tried to make it as close to 400 as I could for you guys so you can get an idea of where your limit is. And this is about 402 kilobytes. So anything over this will not fit. So if you have a PDF with freaking three pages, you can't put that in, in the attach file, okay? So what I wanted to do today is to show you how you can do that, how you can put it in. So let me show you what it's going to look like if you try to put it in. So I'm going to go back on my Diabetes One campaign. I'll click on Manage Autoresponders. So suppose we want to attach our file, or here, this one. Suppose we want to attach our free PDF from when they sign up into this one, right? Into this file. So I'll click Edit. I'm going to click Edit Message. Edit Massage. I'm going to click Next. So, um, Suppose we want to insert it. I'm going to click this button here. And even here, it tells you it can't exceed 400 kilobytes, okay? So I'm going to insert this little sample here. And then it says maximum attachment size 400. Cannot attach right there at the bottom, right? You saw that here. If I click this, <clears throat> notice at the bottom right, <clears throat> cannot attach, okay? So we need to find a way around this. And the way we do this is, I'm just going to exit out of this. Is something called Multimedia Studio here in GetResponse where you can upload anything. So we need to go to my account, Multimedia Studio. And here you can upload anything you want. Video, audio, photos, documents, anything. In our case, it's a PDF. It's going to be a document. So we're going to click on document. We're going to say upload file. And I'm not sure what the maximum size is here, but definitely much larger than 400. So, so I have some files that are like 900, 950 kilobytes, and there's potential for much more than that, right? Uh, maybe even 2,000, 3,000 for sure. So now that we've done that, we've uploaded the file. I will click on this, and here's what it's going to look like. Well, my PDF is a bit slow. Okay, so here's our file. I'm just going to zoom out. Okay, so that's what people are going to see when they click on your link. So what we have to do is we have to make this a link. So I will copy this. I'm going to go back to my messages, click manage. I will go back to the message I want to edit, click edit. Go to edit message. And I will place this link wherever it is I want people to click on to download the free PDF. So it could be a button here or it could be within the text. So I mean, for example, we, we put it in a button, right? Because it probably looks a bit better if, for, for people if they're clicking to download something. So I'll just click that there. Um, and there, that, that's that. So maybe, maybe I'll click it here just, just uh, to, to have a little bit more than one. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to click Next Step. And I'm going to click uh, Save and Publish. All right, so now notice what happens. So I'm going to preview this. And, you know, suppose it says, hey, welcome to the list. You've requested this free PDF. Here you go, download it. So now when I click download button, boom, it takes me to this, okay? So definitely an option for you if you're trying to upload over 400 kilobytes, because like I said, this is about the maximum that you can upload. It's not enough space, okay? <laughs> so that's about it. That's how you upload. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know down below. Stay tuned for the next videos uh, where I discuss a few more things about GetResponse that you can take advantage of. And then um, we'll, we'll move on to some ad networks uh, and we'll go into detail about that and how you can maximize your ads. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episodes.